Have you ever watched a high-speed video of a duck penis? Phew, all the time. And the whole world's looking right now. Hello, thank you for joining me. I am going to take you all over the world tonight. Oh, what is that? Isn't this really making the mad? Good job. Oh, there's so many bees. Wow, this hurts. That was the most intense thing I've ever done for this show. He was using his adrenaline for good, and we were just using adrenaline to sweat. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. It's the smell of bat pee that's decomposing. That means there are bats in this cave, and there's a good chance I'm gonna be able to find them. There's a bat that lives in the cloud forests of Ecuador. This thing has a tongue that is one and a half times the length of its body. So if you stick your arm straight out in front of you and imagine your tongue could touch your fingers, it's three times that long. <laughs> and it's so that it can get into a flower to pollinate it. Agave, which is uh, used for tequila, that is pollinated by bats. Exactly. I mean, who doesn't love tequila, right? I mean, just right there, that should be reason enough for people to love bats. By the way, bat mothers are excellent mothers. I mean, imagine having a baby that weighed a quarter of what you weighed, and then the baby holds on to the mother's nipple with its teeth while she flies around. So, like, I weigh about 200 pounds, and the equivalent would be if I took a 50-pound weight and put it on my nipple with a jumper cable and then just went for a run. It's just incredible what these mothers do. Wow. Uh, I... That's a visual that's gonna be with me for a while, Dan. So, uh, more explosions. This is probably a good idea. Whoa, oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Who climbs poles? <laughs> that's my scared face, yeah. No! Well, how did you think this was gonna end? Honestly. I gotta say, Louisiana Purchase, that's, uh, you know... Napoleon took a hit, for sure, with Louisiana Purchase, but that wasn't his Waterloo. Oh, hey, huh? his Waterloo is his Waterloo! Yeah, yeah. You just, like, dropped the <laughs> plate, Dan! That was, you were like, <laughs> boom! Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, the pass I got, Dan Riskin. Dan! What exactly is a parasite? Define the term. Okay. A parasite is an organism that has a relationship with another organism called a host. Mm -hmm. And in that relationship, the parasite gets a benefit and the host pays a cost. So I'm the host of a show. And I am your parasite. <laughs> so you would be... Yeah. There's an octopus. Okay. Sneaker male defends a harem of females. And there's all these female octopus and he's like, he's guarding them. Right. And then this other male takes his tentacles and hides them so you can't tell he's a male anymore. And then he changes his color so he looks like a female. And he goes in with all the females. He's like, hi, she's, I'm just one of the females. And then he's in with them and he mates with them while this guy's guarding the harem. <laughs> I know.